Susan Leahy here from RobertsRulesMadeSimple.com. Now, whether you're a part of a homeowners association or a church group or a student organization or even a city government, one of the things that I understand about all groups is that it's essential for people to understand the basics when it comes to Robert's Rules of Order. Too many of my clients struggle with really just kind of learning the basics. So instead of having productive meetings, what you end up is having meetings where people are just stumbling over what I consider to be the basic building blocks of this language. So while you already may know that in my DVD I go over what I call the seven fundamental motions used during most meetings, this video is to talk to you about what I consider to be the three most important motions used during most meetings. Now, why are they the most important motions? Because they're the most used. But interestingly enough, they're also the most widely misused. So if you're going to be using these motions, I'm just asking you, pleading with you, begging with you, remove some of the pain and the stumbling blocks by committing to learn these three very basic motions. Now these motions are the main motion, amendments, and amend the amendment. Let me say it one more time. The main motion, amendment, and amend the amendment. Now if you already know how to do these three basic motions, <sighs> I applaud you. But what I want you to think about doing is how are you going to teach your board members how to use these three basic motions. Because it's not enough for you to know them, you've got to make sure everybody on your board at least knows these three motions so that you can start having more productive meetings. So let's talk a little bit about the main motion. The main motion is how you really bring business to the assembly. Before you have a main motion on the floor, you're just talking about information. And while information is important, it's not business. You transition into business by making what is called a main motion. The main motion starts with, I move. Go ahead and say it with me. I move. So simply stated, I move. What are we going to move? Let's say, I move to purchase one DVD for our organization. So now you've got business that's being put before the assembly. As you may recall from the DVD, after you have a main motion on the floor, you have to take what's called a second. Is there a second to the main motion to purchase one DVD for our organization? Once the main motion has been properly moved and seconded, now you can have what I call focused discussion. Now, in my opinion, this should be the new F word. It's focus, people. It's all about creating focus. Think about how powerful a laser is because it can focus. So many boards lose their power because they're not able to focus collectively. They get all screwed up and end up going off topic because people aren't focused in a common direction. The main motion helps us to have a focused discussion to ultimately make a collective decision. Now let's talk about the next motion. So if the main motion brings business before the assembly so that we can have focused discussion about that motion, what is an amendment? Now, let me just back up as I say this. The main motion is the motion. Every other motion you're going to make using Robert's Rules of Order is about supporting that main motion. So an amendment is either going to add to or subtract from the main motion. So let me give you an example of what an amendment can look like. So if we chose to purchase how many DVDs? One DVD. We can amend the motion by maybe striking out one and inserting three. So now the amendment is really about talking about how many DVDs we're going to buy. Now again, the amendment helps us to have focused discussion about the many changes that we would like to make to the what? The main motion. So the amendment is supporting the actual main motion how robust it's going to be, actually what it's going to say. So let's just think about how important those amendments are. Now, why are making amendments so important? And I want to just kind of put this out there. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. The reality is, while we want boards to move quickly, they cannot make quick decisions. They have to do it one manageable bite-sized chunk at a time. And that's really what an amendment is. It's a manageable bite-sized chunk of change that we want to make to the main motion. So as a board, we need to collectively agree on this amendment or disagree on this amendment before we go back down and we start discussing the main motion. 
Now, let me take it one step further. There is then amend the amendment. When I go in and I work with my organizations, these are the three motions that I make sure everybody understands because they really are the building blocks that help you have great meetings. If you don't know how to make a main motion, an amendment, and an amendment to the amendment, then you're going to waste time and you're going to ultimately waste money and you're going to create a lot of frustrated people in the progress. So if our amendment, well, let's go backwards. Our main motion was what? To purchase one DVD. Then there was an amendment that was made. The amendment was to strike out one and insert three. Now, right now, we're only talking about the number. So I can't come in and make another amendment about uh, what type of DVD. I need to keep it about the quantity. So it's about specific change. So how can I amend this amendment? Make another small manageable change so that we can talk about it before we vote on it. That's right. I can maybe increase the number of DVDs that I want to buy. So maybe I go, I move to amend the amendment by striking out three and inserting six. Boy, I see if I can hold all these, right? <laughs> and inserting six. So now what we're talking about is having focused discussion about the six, the quantity, the number of instructional DVDs that we want to buy for the organization. Now take a deep breath. This is a lot of information, and I'm not expecting you to get the main motion, the amendment, and the amendment to the amendment all in this one video. What I'm hoping to do is to create a case about the importance of really committing yourself and your board to learning these three basic motions. You can do that by calling me and I can provide coaching to your chairs or your individuals on your board. You can do that by watching the DVD. You can do that by going in and reading Robert's Rules of Order. But however you do it, do it. It will exponentially increase your board's effectiveness. Again, thank you for your time and happy meetings. My name is Susan Leahy.